Well, hello there, guys. You guys know I always like to take a look at the new mods that have come out for Hearts of Iron 4, and this new one, Europa Imperium version 2, looks pretty damn interesting. Now, if we look over here, the world lies under the rule of great European empires. The Byzantine Empire, ancient and proud, Austria and Poland dominate the continent, while Russia's boundless motherland stretches east. But times are changing. New powers in Asia and America contend the balance of power. And in Europe's heart, the countdown to war has begun. So we're going to go ahead and select this scenario and just take a look at all of the new members we can see here that there are uh, things like the hungarian crisis um and this is just a brief history of the Habsburg empire sprawls across central europe but austria has been on the decline losing territory in the last century in italy germany and the balkans yet it still stands strong and vienna is the heart of europe as revenge stirs in france with nationalism rising on our borders and russia looming in the east it is down to us to maintain the balance of power in europe so i'm actually going to go ahead and take a look at the other countries here um i want to see what else there is i mean it's looking pretty incredible gascony is is its own state led by Joseph Bech, so southern France essentially. Um, Provence, basically a Piedmont and uh, some other areas led by Henri II. And um, once again, this is a work in progress, what I've heard. Um, revanchism is the word of the day here. Uh, as we could see, home of revanche, they can create factions, which is quite interesting. We've got the British Republic. Um, it's a Cromwellian Republic. So just imagine if Oliver Cromwell um, his, had actually, um, you know, managed to his empire or his his uh parliamentarian empire had survived for as long as it did all the way to modern day we'd have of course a cromwellian uh led by the cbg cromwellianism is a medley of political social and religious beliefs inspired by the first british republic under oliver cromwell is a mix of radical republicanism anti-monarchism puritanism and an isolationist tendency so a lot of interesting things here we've also got iberia led by ferdinand the sixth um, an absolutist monarchist regime and there's a lot of other stuff like for instance the byzantine empire uh unbelievable here uh, led by an emperor we've also got uh, all of these other parts we've even got um scandinavia which is of course encompasses all of nor of sweden and finland well all not all of finland but most of it anyway and they have uh, actually african holdings which is quite amazing um we've also got the bamani empire led by mahmoud shah bamani over here in the east ethiopia of course remains is under under hella selassie and we've got new caledonia um over here led by edward the fourth so we've actually got a uh, basically a monarchy in uh, Central America, or in Central U.S., I should say, and in the west of the U.S., the Kingdom of the Pacific, Pacific, led by Jean II, so very French over here, and over here to the east, we've got Hudson Land, uh, which right now doesn't yet have a leader, but of course is probably the one um, American empire. We also got the Kingdom of Brazil, just really awesome stuff here, I must admit. Um, and of course, the Commonwealth, uh, the Polish Commonwealth, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, etc. Now, we're going to go with the Habsburgs just to take a look at the tech tree focus and see kind of what to expect here. Um, like I said, I always love looking at these mods. Uh, don't forget, if you have a mod in mind, make sure to send it my way. And if you're new to the channel and just watching this video, make sure to subscribe. We've got strategy on this channel all the time, and we're trying to bring in as many people as possible. So here are the Habsburgs. It definitely looks like they've got the armies down, correct? but let's take a look at the national focus so absolutely interesting national focus is here um, we could go straight for political effort militarism political correctness uh, political commissars even so we could certainly go for the left um, very interesting stuff here and I also want to take a look at the research slots see if there's any new research um, oh yes Steyr M95 so they've definitely added new research on weaponry etc um, I want to see if there's any new tanks uh, I like that they're actually giving names to all of the artillery pieces, like 7.5 centimeters. And once again, um, this is a work in progress. Um, as stated on the mod workshop, this is definitely, there's a lot to go here. We can see that most of these are pretty normal. Um, nothing extremely new on the research side of things, but still fascinating. Um, and uh, a really awesome idea for a mod, I must say. I mean, this is really, truly an alternate world, um, totally alternate history. We've, of course, got Persia, and it looks like even the uh, the East Asian states have quite a lot of power. And we've even got the Oirat Republic, um, which I guess would be Xinjiang in this case. And they're actually a uh, Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Cromwellian. Uh, that's strange. Um, I think that's probably and probably not on purpose that they did that. Uh, and of course, over here in Russia, Alexander the Fourth is in control. Um, 
and uh, the revanchist. Born in France, revanchism is a policy of seeking to retaliate, especially to recover lost territory. And of course, Korea is massive here. They actually control quite a lot of land, uh, led by Sigmund Rhee, which is uh, the South Korean dictator um, for quite a while here. Let's take a look here. Uh, we've also got the Ku Dynasty, so all of the Chinese dynasties that still are still around apparently here, and even Ibedia, wonderful Ibedia, has taken some land here uh, in Asia. So this could lead to a lot of really interesting things. The Scandinavians and the Byzantines both have lands here in uh, in East Asia. Uh, quite fascinating stuff, um, I must say. They really went to a lot of uh, trouble to create this particular mod. Um, I think, of course, there's a lot more work to be done, but so far, really awesome stuff. Um, we will just go ahead and start the uh, timeline to see if there's any interesting, um, you know, news items that pop up. Uh, again, I don't typically play these mods. I just like to kind of give you guys a look at them, see if you'd be interested, obviously, in playing. Looks like we've even still got some of the German houses still here. Germany is not a country in this mod. Uh, we've got Saxony. We've got Pomerania. Oh, Pemann. Uh, and we've also got Hanover and Hessen. So a very interesting thing. Maybe there's a possibility of reunifying the German Empire. That would be very awesome, I think. And even the Italians here are under Partito Nazionale Monarchio. So a monarchist party controls the country. Really very little freedom in this mod, and uh, it's kind of interesting. I wonder if Gascony, uh, do they have any sort of free elections? I think they might be a democracy. They're not part of any faction. They're non-aligned, but the party that is no, just non-aligned. So this probably needs to be worked on just a little bit for places like Gascony. Of course, Serbia has its own land, um, a regency council under Prince Paul. Really great stuff here, guys. I think um, just a fascinating mod, to say the least. Um, we've got the Commonwealth of Peru. Of course, uh, South America has been split into three or four countries as opposed to, um, you know, a bunch of other countries. And uh, as you can see over here, we've got no faction uh, for Argentina. But the thing I love is that the Brazil has taken over uh, Uruguay, uh, Paraguay. It's just very cool. Uh, makes me proud to be part Portuguese for sure. Uh, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I will, I do hope you guys will take a look at this mod. Um, and uh, it's definitely one that I would recommend of course it does need some work but overall just fascinating stuff really just fascinating stuff and we do actually have prussia here tiny tiny prussia unfortunately under frederick v that would be a fun let's play for somebody trying to bring back the glory of the german empire could it be done i'm not sure it's up to you guys thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and have an awesome awesome day